Good morning and, and good evening. But the reality is we are very, very pleased to be part of this collaboration with Cisco Systems and our community college partners to do something that is truly not only a first in Colorado, but I believe one of the first in the nation to use this sophisticated form of technology to do what distance actually makes not possible for most of our students. One of the things that I have been involved with for the last 20 years is various forms of the, uh, of the development of distance education. And I have never been more excited than when I see what we are able to do with telepresence. There are some real key drivers and reasons that distance education is part of the really imperative for public higher education in the United States. The first is access. We have students all over the country who may or may not be located immediately where technically challenging programs such as nursing or engineering, our two pilot projects in this collaboration, where they are readily available or accessible. We can create an access network that better utilizes the talents of faculty by simply collaborating among institutions to bring the best of what we can do with a very sophisticated technology to students who may or may not have access to those types of programs. That's obviously one thing. But what is critical when we're using any kind of technology is that we remember that the outcomes of the quality of the education must be excellent. What we believe to be the case in our first semester pilots have demonstrated is that it is very possible to deliver something that is exciting and from a student's perspective creates a broader learning environment than simply classroom instruction. And then finally, all of us in public higher education are challenged to do more with less and also in the private sector. The efficiency that the use of this technology brings to us allows us to think creatively about cost containment while in fact upping access for people not only in rural areas, but our ability to use faculty across the United States in particular technical specialties that enhance both our in-classroom learning and our classroom learning for students at a distance. In Colorado, we are very fortunate to have an excellent community college system. And I would have to say that my partners in southern Colorado, which are five community colleges, but most particularly today working in this collaboration with Lamar Community College and La Junta Otero Junior College, those two partnerships, their ability to think creatively and to think innovatively is why this is successful. President Jim Rizzuto has been from Otero Junior College a longtime partner for UCCS. But I have to say without qualification that he immediately wanted to join us in this collaboration. And you're going to see that in just a few moments. What we are able to do, for example, and you're going to hear from faculty in both of these programs, is bring very sophisticated nursing education, the completion of an RN to a Bachelor of Science in nursing to Southern Colorado at a distance with telepresence. The course that we have just finished, and you'll see a bit of a simulation in just a few minutes, dealt with some very important diagnostic techniques for heart disease for rural Colorado, which has a generally underserved medical environment. But you're also going to see that we have been teaching engineering robotics in Lamar, and La, or in La Junta, and knowing that that is something that is generally not available in community college systems across the nation. We are very excited about this partnership because, in fact, this is the innovation of the future. So we are privileged to be a part of what Cisco is helping make possible. And I'm also proud of the partnerships that we have with our community college system and faculty who are really eager to take this new challenge to create really high quality education. So this is what innovation is all about. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our faculty who taught robotics and engineering course in La Junta last semester, Bob Cressler. Thanks, Chancellor. Hello, everyone. My name is Bob Cresson. I'm an instructor here at the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs uh, in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. And it was really my privilege last semester to introduce uh, the telepresence technology to our campus and beyond, to the Otero Junior College uh, over in La Junta. 
Uh, we decided to try this out on our ECE 1001, which is our Introduction to Robotics course. Uh, in that course, uh, we use uh, Legos, actually a Lego Mindstorms NXT kit, to create some and, and, uh, and learn some very key uh, engineering concepts, uh, both in mechanical engineering, uh, computer engineering, as well as electrical engineering. And so it was really my privilege to use the technology and extend the reach of our campus uh, to Otero Junior College. Now, I have to admit, uh, when the dean first came up to me and said that we wanted to use this technology and it was somewhat experimental for the first time, I was pretty nervous about using it. Uh, my biggest concern, although I was excited to extend the campus and, and try out uh, a new piece of technology, uh, my biggest concern was just that it would interfere with the classroom experience and that the students in La Junta would not feel very well connected. Uh, but really, a lot of those fears were dispelled almost immediately in using the technology. Cisco did a fantastic job setting it up. Uh, immediately, right on day one, right from the first lecture, the very first session, we really had no problems using the technology, and we were able, able to integrate their students, which was fantastic. Uh, ECE 1001 culminates in a competition uh, where student teams uh, square off. Uh, typically, that's done right here on our campus, and we have student teams of three competing against each other. It's kind of an exciting time, and it's a, it's a great way to cap off the semester. This semester, this last semester, uh, we decided to come up with a competition that would allow us to go head-to-head -head with La Junta, uh, Otero Junior College, and we could pit their teams against our teams. Uh, and it was a really exciting and, and fun event, and we were able to real-time compete uh, using our LEGO robots uh, to see which team would dominate. It was a, it was a great event. Uh, and a great way to, uh, to really cap off our entire semester. Uh, the session uh, last semester went so well that we decided to go ahead and expand our program. And so I'm, I'm pleased to say that uh, this semester, not only are we once again offering ECE 1001 Introduction to Robotics, uh, but we're also offering ECE 1411, which is our Logic Circuits 1 course. So it's very exciting uh, to see that reach uh, starting to extend and to get further and deeper into our program. Uh, as an instructor, Every single time I look at these seats in my classroom, I get very excited about the potential of each one of those engineering students to use technology and engineering uh, to benefit humanity. And it is personally very exciting then to be able to push beyond our four walls and extend that reach and see that excitement propagate uh, to the rural communities like Otero Junior College. 